Styloid apparatus introduction the styloid process with its attached structures is called the styloid apparatus attachments the structures attached to the process are three muscles and two ligaments the muscles are stylohyoid styloglossus and styloferynges the ligaments are stylohyoid and stylomandibular ligaments embryology the apparatus is of diverse origin the styloid process the stylohyoid ligament and the stylohyoid muscle are derived from the second branchial arch the stylopharynges from the third arch the styloglossus from the occipital myotomes and the stylomandibular ligament from a part of the deep fascia of the neck It is a general consideration that the five attachments resemble the reins of a chariot. Two of these reins ligaments are non-adjustable whereas the other three muscles are adjustable. And are controlled each by a separate cranial nerve, 7th, 9th and 12th nerves. Styloid process The styloid process is a long slender and pointed bony process. It projects downwards, forwards and slightly medially from the temporal bone. It descends between the external and the internal carotid arteries to reach the side of the pharynx. It is interposed between the parotid gland laterally and the internal jugular vein medially. Styloglossus muscle From the name itself we can tell its origin and insertion it originates from the anterior surface of the styloid process and is inserted into the side of the tongue styloglossus styloid process tongue stylopharyngeus muscle it arises from the medial surface of the base of the styloid process and is inserted on the posterior border of the lamina of the thyroid cartilage stylopharyngeus styloid process and thyroid cartilage which is a part of the pharynx pharyngeus stylohyoid muscle stylohyoid extends between the posterior surface of styloid process and hyoid bone stylohyoid styloid process hyoid bone Stylomandibular ligament is attached laterally to styloid process above and angle of mandible below stylomandibular the, st- the stylohyoid ligament extends from the tip of the styloid process to the lesser cornua of the hyoid bone stylohyoid ligament features external carotid artery crosses the tip of the styloid process superficially facial nerve crosses the base of the styloid process laterally after it emerges from the stylomastoid foramen when the facial nerve is compressed at this place that is at stylomastoid foramen it causes bell's palsy clinical anatomy with regards to styloid process eagle syndrome also called as carotid artery syndrome It occurs in two forms classic and vascular. Its cause is elongation of the styloid process or calcification of the stylohyoid ligament. Classic form sore throat, dysphagia, tinnitus, otalgia and unilateral facial and neck pain is present. Vascular form the elongated process is in contact with the extracranial internal carotid artery. It can cause compression of the artery which can result in transient ischemia or stroke bye bye bell's palsy will be dealt in another video